In this tutorial, we will go over some of the many community resources that are available for players. These are great places for newer pilots to learn the game, and more skilled pilots to use as a reference material. First up is metamex.com. This is the place to find out which mechs are the best in the game from the competitive mindset. With regularly updated tier lists, master guides on playing different chassis, and suggested community warfare drop deck configurations. Next is the unofficial MechWare Online basic guide and advanced concepts for new players. This Google document has a huge amount of information available. It covers almost every topic that a new player will need to learn the game. It also includes some of my videos as examples for the different topics. Next is the hitbox localization thread on the forums. This shows the hitboxes of most of the mechs in the game in two separate Google documents. This is great for new players to learn where to shoot enemy mechs in order to damage the right section, as well as for advanced players to help identify vulnerabilities and determine suitability of a chassis for XL engines. Next is the MechWarrior Online Weapon Heat Simulator. This site allows you to simulate the heat of your battle mech before taking it into the field, with the ability to change around weapon groups, amount of and type of heat sinks, and environmental effects. Next is Mad Stats. This is a browser extension that greatly improves your MechWarrior Online forum stats page. It allows for table sorting, sticky table headers, several filtering options, and newly calculated statistics. This is great for seeing how your mechs perform, what weapons are you most accurate with, and how long you have played on specific maps. And last, but certainly not least, is Smurfynet. This is the best site for reference information on the game. You can see the details on every mech, weapon system, map, and piece of equipment in the game. As well, you can use the built-in mech lab to customize any mech you want without needing to use Seabells. And as an added feature, you can make an account and save your designs to bring back up in the future. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Good hunting!